going on guys? Batman 1999 here with another Funko Pop video. And from the way you guys responded to my other Funko videos, we're doing a top 10 favorite pops from my collection today. So without further ado, let's get right into this at number 10. My 10th favorite pop has got to be a pop I got a few years ago, and I went to Myrtle Beach. And at Myrtle Beach, I got a really interesting pop, and that is Ted. I love this pop, okay? Um, the movie itself is really, really funny. Getting a look at the packaging here for Ted, I've actually done a review on this guy before, and this is a really, really neat pop. I really enjoy this guy. There's Ted from the actual film. And this is, the, this is the variant version of Ted with the TV remote. The sculpting details on him makes him really look like an actual teddy bear. He has the television remote right there in his hand. There's the back of Ted where the seam would be sewed. And his stomach sewed. Really, really cool pop. I enjoy this pop. And if you're a fan of the movie, pick it up. On to number nine. Okay, number nine is a really cool pop, and it is one of my favorite horror characters of all time. And that is Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th. Jason Voorhees is actually my first pop I ever purchased myself. Mom 1978 actually got me my first pop I've ever owned. The first pop I ever owned was a Batman from the Dark Knight Rises movie, and I have no idea where that pop is. That was before I got into actually collecting them and keeping their packaging. So there is no telling where that Batman went. It has got nostalgia for me. The only reason it is so low on the list is because this pop could have been better. And I'm surprised they have not remade Jason yet. Getting a look at this Jason pop here. You have Jason here on the inside of the packaging. And then you have Friday the 13th written at the top along with Funko Pop there at the top. And again, Jason has got a lot of sculpting detail on him. His far, he's even got blood splatter on his mask and he's got one eye like, like half closed. Like, but if you've ever seen Friday the 13th, you know Jason is actually deformed under that mask and they sculpted it out like a uh, weird shaped head for him, which is really, really cool. And they've even got this buckle detail here on the back of the mask itself that goes around and connects to the hockey mask. So that's really, really cool. And his machete has got some blood detail on it and he's got a ripped jacket and all that really, really cool detail. Goes into this pop and makes it number nine on this list. On to number eight favorite Funko Pop of my collection. Keeping it in the horror genre here for a second, this is more or less a horror comedy, and this is one of my favorite movies of all time. This is Shaun of the Dead. Shaun is one of my favorite pops because of the simple fact that it's got an amazing box. This, the, the packaging itself is amazing. If you have not seen Shaun of the Dead, I will recommend it. Getting on to the pop here, this is a really, really neat Funko Pop, and the packaging is what sells it for me. Uh, they got Shaun of the Dead written here at the top, and you got the number logo, and you got Pop Vinyl written there. This one was an Entertainment Earth exclusive. This is one of the pops that are harder to find. Um, if you did not get this one, it was exclusive to Entertainment Earth. You are going to have a hard time finding this guy for a cheap price. This is what I'm talking about with the packaging. Look at the side. They have bloody handprints on the side of this. That is really, really neat. And I thought that that was a cool touch. And you have Sean and Ed here on the back. And you have a picture of Sean there on the side, along with some zombie hands back there. Now, I've actually done a review on this guy and his friend Ed on this channel, as well as my boy Ted here. Both of these guys have reviews on my channel, which I will put a link in the description to. Getting a look at Sean here, it is a really, really neat pop. The sculpting on the hair, the beard, and the overall body sculpt itself. You got his, of course, red tie, his name tag there, saying Sean. He's got red on him, mate. If you've watched the movie, you'll get that joke. But he's got red on him, mate. And then he's got the, uh, the sculpting detail on the cricket bat and his shoes and black pants. He's got blood splatter on him. That is so stinking cool. I thought that was a really nice touch to put on this Funko Pop. So, yes, Sean is one of my favorite Pops. 
And now, it's time for number seven. The number seven's been a show I've been recently watching. We got Riverdale. I love this show, okay? I know it's corny, I know it's stupid, and I know some people hate it. I love this show. I remember the Archie characters um, years ago. My my grandma, she used to go to little stores and every now and then she would pick up a comic of Archie if she found it. And that's how I got introduced to the characters. I actually have the Archie meets Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle comic. This is a really, really old comic book. This is my dad's. He let me have this comic because he knew that I love the Riverdale TV show and he wants to pass on Archie to a new generation of kids so if I ever have kids I can give them this comic book just like he gave it to me. That's the reason I love Riverdale. It is one of those things that has been in my family for years. Um, the Archie characters itself is nostalgic and I had to get this pop. I actually got this pop right here for Christmas this year. I did not do a review on this guy so let's go ahead and get into a kind of mini review. This is a Hot Topic exclusive pop, so that means you can only get this guy at Hot Topic and you've got a picture of Archie Andrews there on the side with Riverdale written at the top of the packaging and that is so cool. On the back of it, you've got all the pops that you can get. You can get Archie, Betty, Veronica, Jughead, and Cheryl. I have all of these pops except for Cheryl and I'm not, if I am not mistaken, I believe they made a exclusive Josie. Let me know in the comments down below. I'm not sure. Here's a look at Archie outside of the packaging, and this is a really, really neat Funko Pop. Of course, you have his signature red hair. Archie is a redhead. And then you have his Riverdale jacket here, along with the yellow and the blue, which really, really goes together well on this pop, and I really do enjoy this. Uh, you've got, I just love this, the sculpting of this jacket alone is amazing. You got the blue pants here, the blue shirt, and then all this other stuff here. And then you got the shoes itself are sculpted as well, which is really, really cool. They've got the back of the jacket sculpted, the back of the shoes, and the pants, and all that stuff. That is really cool. I really enjoy this pop, and if you are a fan of the show, I couldn't recommend this enough. Now, on to number six. Number six is an interesting pop I have. I actually had never heard of this character until I watched his film in the MCU, and that is Doctor Stephen Strange. I love Doctor Strange. I had never heard of this guy until this film came out. And I gotta say, if you have not seen Doctor Strange, the visuals alone is worth watching. So let's get a look at him here. I've actually done a review on this guy, so I'm not going to go too deep into it. And I will put a link in the description to all the pops I have reviewed on this channel before, so you guys can go over there and check them out. Even though they're really cringy, I have done the reviews. But anyway, getting a look here at the packaging, you have Doctor Strange written there, along with him there, window pop packaging, Doctor Strange written at the top of the packaging, along with pop vinyl written there. On, on the side here, you have the Sanctum Sanctorum in the back, and I thought that was really, really cool detail to put on the packaging. You have the Sanctum Sanctorum again, along with half of Doctor Strange, and you have all the other characters in the line itself. Let's get a look at him outside of the packaging. Getting a look at Doctor Strange here, it is a really, really cool Funko Pop, and the detail on it is really, really cool too. I can kind of see the resemblance to Benedict Cumberbatch, but you can't really do a lot to make it look exactly like the actor when you have to stylize it like this. But looking at it here, you got the whole sides here with the hair, like you got some of the gray along inside the hair, and then you got the sculpting on the cape. And looking here, it's got some more sculpting detail. And on the front of the pop itself, you have the Eye of Agamotto. It's a really, really cool pop. I very much enjoy this Funko, and I recommend this to any Marvel fan, or if you're just a Doctor Strange fan and you want one, go pick it up. It is an amazing pop. That is number six on a number five. Okay, one of my favorite TV shows on television at the moment, besides Riverdale, is Rick and Morty. I had to put Rick on this list, okay? And this is the Hot Topic exclusive Rick with the portal gun. Now, I know a lot of people don't like the Rick and Morty fan base because a lot of people get crazy over this show, and yes, they do. I am a fan of Rick and Morty, and I'm gonna lie, but I don't see why people go as crazy as they do over some of this stuff. And I mean, it's okay. I mean, you like what you like, but 
I just casually watch the show. I'm not going to call myself intelligent because I watch this show. But I'll say, it's a good show, and if you've not seen it, go watch it. And I have a review on this guy as well, along with Doctor Strange, Sean, and Ted, and it's all going to be in the description down below. Look at Rick's packaging here. You got Rick, of course, there on the side. Rick with the portal gun, Hot Topic exclusive. There's Rick on the inside, Pop Vinyl, Rick and Morty there. You got Rick on the side there with a portal behind him where he's coming out of the gun. <gasps> then you got the back of the packaging here. You got Rick there, Rick there, Morty there. I'm going to sound like an auctioneer for the end of this video. But getting a look at Rick outside of the packaging. Pickle Rick! You got Rick here, and then looking at the sculpting detail, you got Rick's unibrow there, along with the bags under his eyes, and you got like the dribble, drool, the disgustingness that Rick has whenever he drinks a lot, and then you got the portal gun itself, and that is an awesome detail, and they've even got like little dots sculpted into it, just like he's got in the show. You got the actual lab coat, and the shirt, and the belt, looking at his shoes there in the back of the pop and he's even got that signature bald spot if you've ever seen Rick from behind he has that bald spot I thought that was a really cool detail to put in there I love the show and I love this pop on to number four okay guys number four is an interesting pop for me I have been a Disney fan pretty much my whole life and growing up years ago I used to get up every morning and I watched Winnie the Pooh before school. I used to love Disney back in the day. And one of my favorite characters was Pete. Okay, Pete's the villain. I know he's the villain. I know a lot of people don't like Pete. I think Pete is under unappreciated in the Disney fan base. Pete was in the very first Mickey Mouse cartoon with him. He was on that steamboat in Steamboat Willie. Pete was there the whole time. He has been around as long as Mickey Mouse and he deserves just as much appreciation. But he's left in the back. I'm going to give him the spotlight today. But uh, getting a look at it here, I've actually uh, never reviewed this guy here on the channel. So this is going to be a review too. You got Kingdom Hearts written at the top along with Pop and you have Pete there on the packaging. Mickey, Donald, Goofy, there's Pete again. And then you got Chip and Dale. I don't know the difference between the two. I never really got into Chippendale. Um, so let me know in the comments down below what's the difference between the two. Is Chip the one with the red nose or the black nose? Getting a look at Pete outside of the packaging, this is a hefty pop. Like this is, do you hear that? That's solid. Like that is some solid plastic. The only thing vinyl I think is the head. Like the rest of it's just hard plastic. It's kind of cool. There's a look at Pete's face. He's got his hair, his pointy ears, and his costume. There's all the zippers and all that stuff. And he's got his big Disney cartoonish feet, which is really, really neat. And then you got Pete's hand gloves. I'm still going to give this a high ranking on my list. It's number four because I absolutely love this character, and I think he deserves more recognition for the character that he is. On to number three. The interesting thing about number three is that I got this pop a few years ago from Firewolf 3054. I will pop a link in the description to his channel. Um, and he got me this pop. This is actually the most expensive pop I have in my collection. And I love this pop. We have Master Chief. Master Chief, the funny thing about it, I don't play many video games. It was a different experience for me playing this game. When Firewolf picked this up for me, I was blown away. And I can't thank him enough for this pop. So getting a look at this one here, we have the detailing here on the packaging. And this is so stinking amazing. Like look at this picture here. Halo 4 written at the top. This is Pop Gaming and you have Pop written there on the side. And you have cool picture of Master Chief there on the, the, the side. Now again, the detailing on this guy is thinking amazing. Getting a look at him here up close, you can really see the amount of detail that Funko put into this pop. Uh, the gun alone is sculpted beautifully. Even on the back, they've got all this done wonderfully. Look at that. That is so cool. And then there's the helmet itself, and it's nice and reflective in the light. So that is a cool feature. And then there's the front of the helmet, the side of the helmet, and the back of the helmet. 
it is number three on my list because it is the most expensive pop and it was a really very, very cool gift from Firewolf. Thank you so much and on to number two. Okay guys, this was gonna be kind of obvious on my number two, but I love the stinking character. It's Captain Jack Sparrow. I love this character. I love Pirates of the Caribbean. I, I have watched all the movies. I need to get the last two movies on DVD. I am so jealous of Ninja Block because he got the newest one on DVD. And I want it so bad. But this is Captain Jack Sparrow. And I actually have the other pops in this, uh, in this line. And I've not reviewed this guy. And this is going to be a review for him as well. Getting a look at it here, you got Captain Jack there on the front of the packaging. And then you got Captain Jack there. Pirates of the Caribbean written on the top, along with Pop on the side. And you got Captain Jack Sparrow, Captain Salazar, and Captain William Turner. Now we have old Captain Jack Sparrow outside of his packaging. Looking at him here, he has, of course, his signature eyeliner, and he has his X marks the spot tattoo. He also has his dreads and all of the cool accessories inside of them. Looking at the back of the hair, he has, of course, his signature bandana, along with his ponytail. And look at that mustache. It's wonderful. It's beautiful. And his goatee has, of course, the beads in it. Looking at the actual front of Captain Jack Sparrow, he has his trench coat. He has his sword. He has his rings. He has his compass. He has everything that you would expect with Captain Jack Sparrow. Oh, I love this character. And if you guys have not seen the new Pirates, I will tell you, it is not the best one in the series. It's still a good watch, and I would recommend it. On to number one. If you guys have stuck with me this far for number one, I thank you so much for staying. I know this has been a, a, a different type video, and it's been a decently long, but I've had ten pops to go over. And this has been a really fun video to make. And if you guys want more videos like this, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm kind of just stalling here to see how long you guys will stay uh, to find out what number one is. Do it, a balloon! <laughs> yes, guys, it is Pennywise from the new It movie. I love this movie. I love this character. Curry is the one that rolled the ball for this movie. He set the standard for the creepy clown. And Skarsgård had some... Pretty, pretty big clown shoes to fill up when he took over the role of Pennywise and I think he did a terrific job. Let's get a look at Skarsgård's Pennywise inside of the packaging. This is Skarsgård's Pennywise inside of the packaging and this is a really really neat pop and I love this thing. Looking at the actual pop itself you can see him right there and you got pop movies written there on the top and you have it written there along with the number on the line. You get Pennywise the Clown written on the side. You've got Pennywise there on the on the side and on the back you have this really really cool artwork of Pennywise and Georgie. Really 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 cool pop. This film has set box office records and started a lot of good things. And I loved this movie, and that is why it is number one. We're going to get a look at Skarsgård's Pennywise and outside of the packaging, but first off, I want to thank my stepmom, Kim, for getting this for me. I would have never gotten this thing if it had not been for her. She looked everywhere for this thing. She went to stores, she went to malls, she looked online, and she found it. And I cannot thank her enough for getting this guy for me. Thank you so much. Getting a look at him outside of the packaging here, you can clearly see Pennywise the Dancing Clown in his signature creepy smile with his beautiful blue eyes. I think that is an amazing thing, that they made him seem so childlike. That makes it even more scary. And he's got his signature red. I love the red on this design. I just love this design for Pennywise. And you have the red hair, and you have the cracks in the forehead, Oh, it's so creepy, but so cool at the same time. You got all this detailing on the actual clown suit, and that is so cool. And he has a boat in his hand, and then all the sculpting down through here, onto the shoes, and on the back. This is an amazing pop. 
And if you are a fan of the It film or the book, or if you're a Stephen King fanatic, I can't recommend this thing enough. This is an amazing pop. It is my number one. I love this thing. Thank you so much, Kim. And that's that's the video, guys. That's my favorite top 10 Funko Pops of my collection. I love all of my pops. I'm gonna go through a quick list, and let you guys know one by one. We have Ted at number 10. Jason Voorhees at number nine. Sean from Shaun of the Dead at number eight. Archie Andrews from Riverdale at number seven. We have Dr. Stephen Strange at number six. We have Rick Sanchez from Rick and Morty at number five. We have Pete from Disney at number four. We have the Master Chief from Halo at number three. We have old Captain Jack Sparrow himself at number two. And we have Pennywise the Dancing Clown at number one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you want some more Funko Pop videos coming your way. And let me know what videos you want me to make. I've actually got some really cool videos planned to be filming this weekend. So, I can't wait. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a good day. Peace out, everybody.